Alright, and hello and welcome to the next game that I'm going to look at here. Long Live the Queen. Okay, and to be honest, the reason I'm playing this game, well, there's a couple reasons. One of them is that it's very much like uh, Princess Maker 2, which was a game I played uh, back in the day. A really fun game where you just uh, basically raise a character and then hope that everything works out well depending on the courses that you choose to teach them during the week. Um, so that's fun. Now this game, Long Live the Queen, uh, pretty recent, uh, new release on GOG, should be lots of fun. Um, also, uh, let's be honest, I really wanted to try something where I could uh, read some dialogue and this might just be that kind of game. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Jocelyn, the King Doager, Duke of Caloris. We're almost home. Your room is just the way you left it. Elodie, the Crown Princess. That's, that's our character, by the way. I know it's hard to leave your school and all your friends, but I've arranged the best possible tutors for every subject. You'll have to work hard this year to prepare yourself before your 15th birthday, but I know you can do it. You'll learn quickly, and you'll make a wonderful queen. It's what your mother would have wanted. This is not what mother would have wanted. She wouldn't have wanted to die and leave me. No, she wouldn't, but sometimes bad things happen. We have to pick up and carry on. All of Nova, Nova depends on us. On you. <sighs> I will be here to guide you until your coronation, but the decisions you make are ultimately up to you. Come, your maids are waiting. Welcome to Long Live the Queen. If this is your first time playing, you should read this brief introduction to how the game works. And... okay, fine, tell me more. You will be controlling Elodie, the almost queen of Nova, as she tries to prepare for her coronation. To do that, she needs to take classes every week in order to raise her skills. The skills she learns will provide different choices in the ongoing plot. Learning the right skills can mean the difference between life and death. You also need to keep an eye on Elodie's mood. With her mother's tragic death, Elodie is not very happy right now. The mood button will take you to the emotions screen for more details. Ooh. Elodie is feeling both afraid and depressed, but her strongest emotion is depressed. If she becomes more cheerful to cancel out the depression, her strongest emotion would then be afraid. Elodie's current mood affects her ability to learn. It will give her a bonus to some skills and a penalty to others. Let's take a look at the skills screen now. Skills are broken into four main categories, social, physical, intellectual, and mystical. Inside these categories are skill sets, groups of three related skills. You start with zero in all skills. Every week, Elodie can study two skills. Normally, she earns two points in a skill for every weekday that she studies. So, if she studies history, she will earn two points times five days equals ten points. Because Elodie is depressed, she has a minus two penalty to the social skill set conversation. She doesn't feel like talking to people right now. If she studies conversation, she will earn two minus two points per day. That is zero points. However, she has a plus one bonus to the expression skill set. If she studies one of the expression skills, she will earn two plus one points per day, which means three points a day, 15 points for the week. If you study a skill you have a penalty for, you could be wasting your time and not learning anything. If you study a skill you have bonuses for, you will learn much faster than normal. All of these bonuses and penalties will change when Elodie's mood changes. She can also gain bonuses to skills by studying related skills. Check the skill screen every week to see your current bonuses. Once you know your mood, skills, bonuses, and penalties, you are ready to choose your classes for the week. The classes screen breaks down skill sets by category for your morning and evening classes. When you select a skill set, the three options in that set will appear on the right side of the screen. Choose a class option for both morning and evening classes, then click the Done button, which will appear in the lower right corner. As you play through the story, you will sometimes see feedback bubbles appearing over the text. These tell you what's happening behind the scenes. Bubbles like these will show you when Elodie's mood is being altered by events. Bubbles like these will show you when the story is changing based on what skills Elodie has learned so far. If the test fails, there is some option being missed because she doesn't have enough points in that skill yet. This feedback is very helpful in figuring out different options to try. But if you don't want to see it, you can turn the bubbles off in the preference menu. Now, get ready to become a queen. Well, there you go, folks. Okay, let's get started. So, I am Elodie, and uh, let's see what we have here. Okay, 
So we're going to want to tr tr uh, train her in uh, expression or animal handling. Cool. That sounds wonderful. Expression or animal handling. Um, I'm, I'm trying to think what kind of character I want to make Elodie into. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, I like the idea of sort of a warlord who's savvy of history and intrigue. Um, yeah, I think that would be interesting. So, let's see. Her mood, yeah, yeah, not bad. Outfit, I don't think we can change the outfit. Classes. Okay. So, we're going to go with... Uh, <clears throat> expression and... Uh, and animal handling, I think. So, let's do skill with musical instruments such as the harp and flute. The skill of singing beautifully. Animal handling, riding and grooming, dogs training and hunting, and falcons training and hunting. Uh, I'm not sure. Let's try horses, obviously, for riding. And, uh,. You know, uh, instrument might be nice. Voice is pretty good too. The, the skill of singing beautifully might be helpful. So let's go with that for now. Week one. You practice deep breathing exercises to build up your ability to sustain a note. Yay. You walk around the stables, meet the royal horses, learn about their breeds and the names for different parts of their anatomy. What's all that noise outside? Who's here? Oh, it's my cousins! And my aunt and uncle. Darling, we were so terribly sorry to hear about your mother, Fidela. Fidelia. This is Lucille, the Countess of Nix. Oh, and that's kind of cool. If you click on this button here in the bottom left corner, you get uh, some more detailed information, like uh, who her relatives are and what her relationship is to you. So, she's the Duchess Consort of Merva. Okay. Thank you! You look well, niece. Hi, Lottie. Hi, Lottie. I haven't seen you in ages. Will you be staying long? Yep. Mommy said we'd be here all month. Maybe we'll have some time to talk later. So that was Charlotte, and so basically the, the uncle, aunt, and cousin are now visiting. So who are we going to visit with today? Um. Let's see. Here we get to choose what, uh what we're going to do for the weekend, and they have different effects. And I can click on this to see the mood. Now, not quite sure where we want to go with this, but I think if I make her yielding, she'll be more likely to learn about history or something. We'll find out when we get there, but let's, uh, let's visit Charlotte, the Lady Merva. I love this room. It's so much bigger than mine back home. You should visit more often. It's awful that the only time I get to see you is something like this. I know your brother and sister are still too young, but why haven't you come to school? My mother worries about me. She doesn't think anywhere but home is safe. I understand. I'm probably not going to be allowed to leave this castle until my birthday. But at least we can have fun together here. Yay. Plus one cheerful. Okay. Uh, how's the mood? Oh shoot, she's now afraid. Let's see what that's done for our uh, skills. Okay, agility, and faith. I think I'm just going to work on agility for this one. I think agility is actually a very worthwhile thing to, uh, to get good at because it seems like the type of thing that will keep me alive in the game. So we're just going to go right on ahead and pick da -da -da -da. agility for everything. Um, knowing the steps and carrying them out with grace. Reflexes, the ability to respond quickly to surprises, and flexibility. Okay, let's do dance and reflexes. Yeah. You practice curtsying, standing and walking across the floor in a graceful manner. Not bad. Your teacher walks around you, prodding a finger at you slowly in order to train you in blocking those touches without triggering fear or faster breathing. What's that commotion outside? Father, what's going on? Ooh. Juliana, the Duchess of Ursel. 
I have come to pay my respects in honor of your mother. You have no respect or honor. It's because of you and your powers that my wife is dead. What? I am a Lumen, as was she, and like every Lumen, I am willing to give my life if necessary to protect our domain. Your line has been traitors for two hundred years. I won't have you corrupting my daughter. That is for the Crown Princess to decide. Elodie, your mother trusted me, and I have much to teach you. Ooh, do I send her away, arrest her, let her stay? Do I want to learn about Lumen things? I suppose I'll let her stay. I want to hear what she has to say. She stays. Ooh, I got more willful. As you wish. Alright. Um. Let's visit, uh, Charlotte. Charlotte. What do you know about lumens? Why? Dad was real angry at the Duchess of Ursel. Mommy says people are scared of lumens because they're jealous. There used to be a lot of them in Nova, but there aren't any more. Why not? I don't know. Maybe someone burned them. What? Burned all the lumens at the stake? Oh, that's terrifying. Okay. Moving on. What's our mood? We're still afraid. Potentially willful. Okay. If we're still afraid, then let's keep going with dances and reflexes. Uh, yeah, dance, reflexes. Oh, look at that. You practice walking on the arm of a partner and following their cues to pause and turn while keeping your eyes closed. You practice different partner dance positions closely held at a da distance and non-contact and the appropriate hand placement for each. You practice with the jump rope to increase the speed of your footwork. You practice solo tennis, hitting a ball against the wall repeatedly in order to train your hand and your eye to react. You may now play sports on the weekends. Well, there you go. He loves me. He loves me not. Lottie, do you have a boyfriend? Not really. I just like to play with the flowers. All of a sudden, the Duchess of Ursel rushes into the garden and points a sword at you. No, not at you. At your feet? Princess, don't move! Uh, 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 look down. You look down where her sword is pointing. There's a snake in the grass. You can't help it. You squeak and jump back. The snake tenses and prepares to strike. No! Your cousin pushes you aside, and the snake's fangs sink into her leg. Lottie! Too late, Juliana swings her sword and cuts off the snake's head. What is going on out here? Your daughter's been bitten by a milk viper. They're poisonous. Get her an herbalist right away. I will treat my daughter. I certainly can't trust anyone here to keep her safe. I'm sorry. I don't feel so good. We will be returning home to Merva immediately. <sighs> Your aunt has a point. Milk vipers are not native to this area. That snake should never have been here. Someone may have tried to kill you. Will Charlotte be okay? I don't know. Wow. I can play sports and become more angry, if that's a thing that I wish to do. What was my mood? I'm more afraid. Good. Good, we're going to become super agile. Um, yielding, depressed, pressured. Uh, let's visit Juliana. What is it you wanted to teach me? First, I need to know if you have your mother's crystal. What crystal? The source of power for any lumen is a particular magical crystal. Once you've bonded with it, it becomes a part of you as long as you live. The royal crystal has been passed down from ruler to ruler for generations. It belongs to you now, except that the king may be keeping it from you. Do you have a crystal? Of course. She holds out her hands, light flickers above her bosom, and then, with a shower of sparkles, something takes shape. Ooh. Hey, look at that. Right click lets me save. Name your save. Uh, LP1. Oh, that's kind of cool. You reach out to touch it, and it dissolves away into nothing. Oh! It belongs to me. No one can